final lap on the program this morning. We now have joining us via Skype, uh, Professor Babatunde Salako. He's a, a DG of the Nigeria Institute of Medical Research, uh, who will be talking to us on um, how far the research center has come in uh, finding a solution uh, to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, Professor Salako, you're welcome to News Hub. Thank you very much for having me. All right, we want to know the activities, you know, of the NIMR concerning the coronavirus. How far have you come with your research studies? Well, uh, thank you very much. We uh, have started from uh, service point, assisting the NCDC uh, in case detection, which is very uh, germane to uh, the management of the disease and control. Uh, so we have our lab as one of the recognized labs uh, that can carry out uh, tests for uh, COVID-19. And uh, only on Monday, we started free testing uh, for those who fit into uh, the NCDC case definition. And uh, this will continue uh, until further notice. Uh, so this is uh, one bit uh, of our contribution to ensure that uh, Nigerians who fall into those categories are tested and they, of course, if they are positive, uh, get uh, linked up to uh, centers where they will be treated. Of course, in doing so, uh, we are also talking to them about some of their data which may become useful in research, in assessing the symptoms, the common symptoms, uh, the, the, the uh, natural history of the disease which we can bring up from uh, the information we get from uh, the participants who have come for testing. So that is one. Now, the other one is that we're working with the Lagos State Government uh, to start a trial of uh, hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine. I'm sure you know that uh, these two drugs have been in the news recently. Uh, a few, te a few uh, trials here and there, China, France, have suggested that uh, they improve outcome in the disease. And of course, chloroquine is a drug that is very uh, familiar, I mean, that we're familiar with in Nigeria. And a lot of people have been using them, and they wonder whether it is a drug that we use. So we want to look at this drug in these patients in order to be able to advise uh, the populace and general medical practitioners on whether the drug could be used uh, to treat COVID 19 or not. At this point, we are at the IRB stage. And as soon as we get the RB, we're going to start uh, the study. We're also going to look at um, follow-up, people who have contact with those who have the disease, and looking at the effect of chloroquine in preventing them from developing the disease or from developing severe disease, or in fact from developing pneumonia uh, uh, arising from COVID-19 infection. Uh, the third point is um, we're looking at the general community uh, to look at the antibody development of the community to this disease. Uh, we don't know how many infections we have within the community right now, but it's nice to know if people within the community have started developing antibodies of infection, which we suggest that a lot of people are protected within the system. So these are the areas where we are working on right now, and all of these should come up within the next few weeks. All right, All Professor, right, professor. Uh, uh, let's, let's look at the issue around the testing. testing. Uh, it, it, it is a global uh, uh, concern, uh, uh, unavailability of test kits. Uh, when, when you, you say, say that, that NIMR, uh, NIMR uh, had uh, begun or would begin its own testing, testing. Are, are, you, are, are you formulating your testing kits or your testing reagents, or it is still in line with the global test kits everywhere? We are working with already developed test kits. Uh, the WHO distributed kits and the BGI kit, which is uh, used by China CDC uh, to, to, to detect the disease in China uh, during the outbreak. Now, for us as an um, institute, we have uh, started designing uh, local kits uh, that can be used, but we are incapacitated by um, a few instruments that need to be on ground which are not even in Nigeria or in any of the West African countries. And I think this is an opportunity for us from the funding flying around 
to come to the Nigerian School of Medical Research so that such a very important um, uh, equipment uh, could be uh, got and bought so that for future outbreak, we will be capable of designing local kits that can pick any disease during any outbreak. As it is now, we are able to do, say, about 50% of the work, and we cannot go beyond that. So we are already talking to uh, WHO and a few people about this, and I believe that uh, maybe within the next few days, if we are lucky, if we get one, then we'll be in the position to come up with local kits so that we don't need to, 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 to import kits from anywhere. Now for Nigeria, the total confirmed cases uh, as at yesterday, 8, 8 p.m., was um, 139, and um, nine people have been discharged. Now the question is, some people who tested positive and, and now are negative, uh, is there a chance that um, they have now grown immune, their immune system is now you know, strong not to, uh, re, uh, not to be reinfected again by the coronavirus? Or how does this really play out from positive to negative? How does it play out? Well, um, for people who have survived the infection, uh, they probably have developed antibody to the infection. And what has been done elsewhere is to harvest the plasma of these individuals and they kept for future use for those who may have severe infection. We haven't had severe infection in Nigeria, uh, so that is not tested. But I'm aware that some of them, through their consent, have had their plasma uh, extracted for this purpose. And I'm sure that when we get to that point, uh, we will um, certainly try it and be able to comment on whether the antibodies that have been developed by them to the infection is useful and, and can be used for other people. However, um, testing negative uh, to the infection after someone has tested positive only shows that the body has cleared the virus and has developed uh, uh, soldiers within the body against the virus, which will present or prevent the individual from getting reinfected, since those soldiers are already within the body. So anytime a new infection comes, they just attack it. Professor, the philosophy you're getting, uh, the global philosophy you're getting, uh, how soon, how soon before we have a vaccine uh, for COVID-19? Well, even in advanced country, nobody knows yet. Uh, there are people are working um, day and night to ensure that uh, this is done, uh, but I'm not sure we'll have one in the next few months. Africa might re record uh, more than what we've seen in Italy, in US, in Spain, and some other European countries and the Americas. And this is uh, because of the lack of uh, medical facilities we have here. Uh, should that be a concern to African government, or do you think we will be able to fight coronavirus even better than uh, the Western world? I, I, I didn't get that. Can you call me again, please? It's not right. clear. I didn't get okay. clear. The question I asked, yeah, the question I asked is that um, there are fears that Africa as a continent will record more numbers, you know, more than Italy, China, and um, Spain, and even America. And this is because of the lack of medical facilities we'll have here in Africa. We spoke to uh, one of us in Syria alone, and we know the condition or the state of medical facilities across Africa. Now, do you think that Africa will be able to fight coronavirus better than uh, Western counterparts, Western countries? Well, uh, theoretically, um, and looking at our uh, poor infrastructure, uh, certainly, uh, if we have uh, such degree of infection that uh, happened in America and Italy, it will be a serious challenge for us to be able to cope. But I think that um, most African countries have uh, taken very early step in ensuring that uh, uh, people who bring the disease into the country are locked out. Uh, although a few infections have come in, but with the present uh, situation and uh, the way the NCDC in Nigeria and government is going about it, uh, with the lockdown coming up here and there, I believe that 
that is capable of stemming uh, the spread of the infection, and that will assist us in not putting a lot of pressure on our, our fragile uh, our medical health system. So we are still ahead of that for now, and I believe that if all hands are on deck and people stay in their home and they observe all the uh, uh, hygiene measure that has been flying about in social media, in, on television, on print and electronic media, and people follow them, we will be able to keep this to a BRS minimum. Right, Professor Baba Tunde Salakor, DG at Nigeria Institute of Medical Research, NIMR. Thank you so very much for talking to us on the show this morning. Thank you very much. We well, wish you all the best in your research work. Thank you very Stay much. Stay safe sir. too. Stay safe, sir. All right, um, Zika. Uh, I think we have come to that point where we say. It's a wrap for the, yeah. the show. I think uh, we did a great job today. Yes. I'm clapping for ourselves from before, Syria alone to France to, to Russia, Russia to Nigeria. But, but uh, before, before we go, I would like to reiterate a few things that um, um, Asa talked about, uh, Michael Asa. He, he, he was very frantic about the fact that, look, we cannot continue to do business like we used to do usual. business. Uh, COVID-19 has come to change the, the fundamentals. It has come to change the narrative. So as a government, as a people, we now begin to think outside the box after COVID-19. You know, it's day two of the lockdown in Nigeria, especially in Lagos and Abuja and some other states. So it's very important that you stay at home and, 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 and you know, observe this, stay at home. Uh, do not go on the streets to play ball. Coronavirus is real. You've heard it from the nooks and crannies of uh, different parts of the world. So please stay safe and keep those you love, your neighbors also safe by staying at home and continue washing your hand as often as possible or use a hand sanitizer uh, when you touch any uh, surface. And that's it for today. I will say Happy New Month to you. And we're also hoping that the month of April will bring remedy uh, to the coronavirus. Bonto will come away again tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye for now.